Hey guys, um, so before we get into the video, I just want to do a quick shout out to Millie on Instagram for doing me this, which way is it? For doing me this awesome fan art. And um, yeah, she gave it to me at Southlink Fan Meet a few weeks ago, and all the stuff will be down in the description. So go check her out. Alright. Without further, further ado, uh, let's get into the video and stick around to the end for a very special announcement. So. There was a fire. <laughs> now, before you freak out, I did leave unscathed. I still have both my human eyebrows, sky heads, all her fur, but oh my god, did it scare the ever-loving daylights out of me. Let me um, let me take you back to where it all began. So, I buy most of my supplies, such as glue, lycra, and thread from my local craft store a few minutes down the road. I also buy my glue guns from there, and that's where this story starts. So I bought a new glue gun due to my other one shorting out and melting at the cord. No real explosion or anything, just a smell. I unplugged it and bought a new one. It lasted me probably around three months now. It's worth mentioning, I respect my equipment. I use it, I clean it properly, and I stand my glue gun up and unplug it at regular intervals to cool it down like you should do. Okay, so I plugged this glue gun in and I was working on a, on a doggo named Raka. I was carving his bone base like you do. And I think I had the glue gone on for 10 minutes or so and I was gluing his cheek pieces together. Now, this is what followed. My glue gun literally went up in a ball of flames. I was calmly working and then suddenly everything was yellow and slightly warm and then I looked down and foam was on fire. Now, before you scream, fake, fake, clickbait, clickbait. Um, this does happen and it has happened to other people in the past and here's some footage of it actually happening. Luckily enough for me, it wasn't in my hand at the time. After the explosion, some foam was on fire, so I blew it out. Some soot got on the fursuit, but overall everything was unscathed apart from my glue gun. So let this be a lesson to all of you. Don't buy craft store glue guns if you're going to use them every day, or you could lose an eyebrow. Now, you'd think this is where this story ends, but oh no, it happened again. So after this I thought, right, that's it, that's it, I'm buying a glue gun from Bunnings. So I went to Bunnings, an Australian hardware store, and bought a new one. Admittedly, this one did last longer, but only a few days ago, this one exploded too. I, I wasn't even phased. The bang was really loud and my boyfriend came running in to see if I was okay and I was like, no, not really. This has happened so many times that I'm not even phased anymore. Just just had just had my face almost blown off. Yep, just, just another day on the job. So uh, that was my silly story. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, but before you go, I have a very special announcement to make. Myself, uh, Blue from Lucky Dog Fursuits and Loop from Loop Suits, aka Lazy Loop, will be doing a 24 hour fursuit making charity stream to raise money for the charity Riding for Disabled, who give disabled children and adults access to horse related activities and in many cases has helped those who couldn't walk, walk again. It will be a great two days full of no sleep, fun banter, authentic Aussie language and maybe a special guest. Not to mention when we reach certain tiers, we will do silly things in fursuit for your entertainment. So come out and watch for a while and donate to a great cause. Right, sorry this video was a little bit shorter than usual, but this was the thing that was voted most popular on my Amino because apparently you guys like seeing me in pain. But hopefully I will upload another short video just before the stream ends to remind you all and let you all know that it's up and running. But until then, I will see you guys next time.